All right, guys, went back today with one of my go-to complete upper assemblies with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel, the OpMod exclusive from Optics Planet Daniel Defense complete upper assembly. This one is a very interesting color variation with the brown rail system, 14 and a half inch cold hammer forward pinned and welded barrel, as well as a complete BCG and charging handle ready to drop onto a lower. The other cool thing is they have this on sale and they've got the code 704TAC or 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order. And that works on these Daniel Defense upper assemblies, making the price a very good deal for this complete Daniel Defense. These generally sell for right around $1,300, which is comparable with other upper assemblies from Daniel Defense, but these are on sale for $9.59. That is probably one of the cheapest Daniel Defense rifle uppers I've seen complete with BCG and charging handle. On top of that, you can add that code from Optics Planet, 704TAC, and get 5% off, dropping the price down to about $912 for this complete upper. So that is absolutely awesome. It's going to save you a lot of money versus other items. The next thing I want to discuss is the ammo sponsor of this video, Callaway Ballistics. They just did a massive price drop on a ton of different ammo, including 9mm and 223. And they also just updated the code 704 Tactical. So now it's, now it's valid for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200 to really save yourself some money. They've got 9mm under $11 a box, like $10.70 a box after my discount code when you buy $200 or more. Definitely check these guys out. All of the info will be in the description below, including the codes to save yourself some money on Optics Pennant. But let's talk about the specs and features, starting from the front, working our way to the back, and its performance and reliability down at the range. One of the first things I want to discuss is the extended flash hider located on the end, and it does a very good job of mitigating the flash. That is pinned and welded on this 14 and a half inch barrel, allowing it to be 16 inches in overall length. So this gives you a nice barrel profile and a nice length without being considered a pistol or any NFA rules. So it's going to be considered a 16 inch rifle. The con to something like that is you obviously can't swap out the muzzle device um, very easily or really at all because it is pinned and then welded but for a setup like this i'm going to leave it as is because it's the perfect combination for just kind of that mid-range rifle that is attached to a cold hammer forged barrel made out of 40 40 4150 chromoly vanadium steel and then it also has a mid-length gas system which is one of my favorites to put on a rifle especially a 16 inch gun or in this case a 14 and a half inch gun that means there's not a ton of gas blowing back into the action back into your face it's distributed very evenly it doesn't have a stout recoil impulse and it's just an incredibly smooth shooting gun on top of that they actually pin their daniel defense uh complete gas blocks to the barrel itself making this a bomb proof design a truly battle proven design in the case of daniel defense so you're not going to have your gas box walk loose. And if you are building out a duty rifle or a battle rifle or a rifle that you wanted to trust your life to, pinning that gas block is key. And it's a critical detail that I want to mention about this upper assembly and why it's become my go-to. Had a chance to shoot this version a while back, not realizing it was an Optics Planet exclusive. So when I went back on Optics Planet's site in search of some other upper assemblies, I saw this one, especially at the price. I knew I had to give it a try. And on top of that, it's got that cold hammer forge barrel that's going to last you a lifetime. It's just a solid option when it comes to the barrel system and gas system on this rifle. Moving along, it's surrounded by one of their Daniel Defense M-Lock rails systems these are insane they mount up rock solid with anti-rotation tabs and they have cutie slots everywhere you can imagine which is perfect you can attach those cutie slings at the front or bottom and it also gives you access to the front of the barrel if you were running something like this on a 16 inch gun to swap out the muzzle device the m-lock slots are located everywhere you need them and because this is such a rock solid design it allows you to mount lights ir lasers without them shifting or losing zero and I love the fact that it's a monolithic pick rail on the top of this M-Lock rail system. 
allowing you to put a pressure switch on the top and run an offset lighting system or mount your laser diode if you're shooting night vision with IR on the top of this as well. So I'm glad they've done the pick rail at the top and that's really key. Those are some of the main things I look for in a rail system besides the fit and finish and the obvious looks of it. That's just for fun. But the actual quality construction, lockup, QD slot attachments, M-lock slot attachments, and I love the monolithic pick rail so just surrounding that premium barrel is a premium rail system moving to the rear we're going to take a look at their bcg everything on this is again quality exuding quality good staking super smooth action a very stout extractor spring system allowing it to rip spent shell casings out there it just slides incredibly smooth if you ever fired a daniel defense upper assembly if you ever tried to look at a daniel defense upper assembly you can tell they're just a smooth setup that works great down at the range and it just slides in there like butter. This one also has the extended charging handle, which is great. It's not overly large where it digs into your plate carrier chest while you're holding the rifle, but it is easy if you had something like this Vortex Razor on the top that was kind of cluttering up the back. You can still access it very easily with no issues whatsoever. And this one has their Polymer Daniel Defense dust cover. I don't have a problem with this. It's not great it's not bad it's just it's it's their dust cover and they seem to work out fine even though they're polymer it's just something interesting that daniel defense does in a nutshell it was a hundred percent functional down at the range with no cycling issues whatsoever the callaway ballistics ran great and this was gassed correctly it could run high pressure 556 or low pressure 223 steel case ammo it just ran through everything no issues whatsoever plenty accurate Daniel Defense has that warranty, that um, trust behind it, and that reputation that's really second to none in a lot of the premium AR industries at an affordable price. You can spend a lot more on like a Gucci upper assembly and not get near the value of this $912 upper assembly from Daniel Defense after my code from Optics Planet. But the only other thing to mention is this brown. I love it. You may hate it, but I think it's a cool color variation that Optics Planet has in this can configuration that nobody else does again all of the information codes and linking will be if I, if i can anyways will be in the description below thanks for watching guys have a good one